Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Rahul Power, like you know. And in today's video, we are going to discuss about interview questions that were asked in Flex Limited, and this is for level two. So without wasting much time, let us get started. And before we do so, let us thank a subscriber who has shared us his experience and you know his questions so that it can be of help to others who are preparing. So while I get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys okay so like again in round two also it started with the pretty basic question tell me about yourself but like i generally say in uh, every video in second level of interview they will focus more on scenario based questions so here also you have seen like you know there were some scenarios that were asked and if you are preparing from my channel there is very high probability that you, you will be you can clear uh, the second round as well because uh, many of us are commenting or emailing me stating that you know in second round also they are getting questions from our channel or at least they it is giving some confidence to the you know uh, viewers or students or you know professionals whoever are preparing from our channel to answer that okay so you can watch the videos uh, and scenario videos specifically because it is helping a lot and let us get started so if you see the second uh, second question, I want either top or bottom customers. How do you achieve it? Explain step by step. Now, I think here he took little time to understand. So whenever you get a situation like this, you know, uh, relax, take a deep breath and understand what is the requirement clearly. Then come up with the answer. Just don't directly go for a solution. Take a moment. Okay, so tell the interviewer. Uh, tell, tell the interviewer that if I you need a minute to think about it like that. So he will give you. See, he's not going to kill you or shoot you down for that. Take a moment for that and understand. Okay, so we have solved. So now think. Do did we solve this type of questions? I think yes, we did. We we created top and bottom in a single view, right? Now from there, take the hint. How can I do? like this okay so let us solve this so i'm going to my tableau here and what i'm doing is i'm creating two sets here one for my top and another for my bottom on customer name okay customer name create and i'm creating set and i'm creating top set here okay and like he said i want top 10 i'm taking top 10 customers by sales and done same likewise i'm creating another set and this time i want a bottom set so i'm just renaming that to be bottom here okay and instead of top here i'm writing bottom apply okay now our two sets are ready right now we need uh something which can help us select top or bottom so i'm just simply creating a simple parameter here with top or bottom as the name and in that i have taken top or bottom now whenever user selects top it will show top values whenever a user selects bottom it will show bottom well that is the intention here and i've taken string type so whatever you want you can take it and you can customize your calculation accordingly Okay, now we want to uh, write a calculation. So first I'm showing this parameter and uh, yeah, let us write it out. So I'm writing customer filter. Now, if my top or bottom, which is my parameter is equal to top. So I'm selecting top from this then i want to display customer name top set getting it same likewise what i'm doing i'm creating another set and again i'm calling top or bottom my parameter and in this i'm telling if user selects bottom then i want to call customer name bottom set edit simple a simple calculation i have written Okay, so I want you guys to reach up to a level where you can think of a calculation like this. So I'm not telling this is the right or this is the best approach. This is just the solution to an, a question that interviewer asked. Okay, so we might have many alternate solutions to this. You can try that using Google. Okay, but I want you to just answer a question there. 
okay i'm applying it and i'm taking this in the view and i'm selecting only true here apply okay and we have established and i'm taking my customer name and i'm just dropping sales on the value here now see here if i select customer name top it is showing top customers how can we verify okay so i'm just simply creating another here another sheet and i'm just taking customer name here and i'm just adding sales to my value and i'm just sorting it see here we have seen miller tamara chand raymond tom adrian ken sanjeet and lopez let us see all we have see seen miller tamar raymond tom adrian ken sanjeet hunter sanjeet all it, it is matching so like that way we can solve the requirement here i hope you have learned something new from this question if it does don't forget to like and comment in the video next question was can we apply filter as a global filter yes we can definitely apply a filter suppose you have identified a scope for your dashboard like assume you know you have identified that you want to build a dashboard only on you know central region then you don't need any other region then you can go to this data source layer and you can add a filter called as region here and in that select only what is that you required click ok and okay now no matter to which sheet you go every sheet you go you will see only central region here if i take and drop it here you will see only central region irrespective of any sheet i go you will find the same thing see or if i drop it here only central region this is your global filter or data source filter so likewise apply region filter as global filter quick filter has to show only central now if i take this and click on this and click on show filter it is showing me only central region i think we have answered these three and four questions successfully here next question was again pretty tricky here sheet 1 has a top 5 sub category wise sales and sheet 2 has a top 10 product wise sales okay so i'm just trying to replicate this and we will see what is the next thing after that and sub so first one is, is top 5 sub category wise sales so i'm just taking my sub category and i'm also taking my sales and dropping it here and sorting it and because we need top 5 i'm just going to sub category create or maybe i'll just drop it here just by field top 5 we need click apply okay done okay so one sheet is ready likewise in the second sheet what is he telling us he is telling that sheet 2 has a top 10 products for sales with respect to trade uh, sales so i'm just taking product name and i'm also taking uh, sales here and i'm just adding sales also sorry sub category also so that i will know from which sub sub category this is coming okay and uh, yeah so maybe i'll just uh, filter 10 products right so we need that so i'm just taking this uh, top by field 10 apply okay now we have top 10 right so now i'll take this sub sub category okay done till here now we'll put it here uh, i'm adding these two sheets together now requirement is when i select the chairs it should show top 10 uh, sub categories or products of that sub category that is the requirement here so technically the solution for this is context filter that is what you need to answer if you don't want to do the entire thing simply in one word you can tell that using context filter we can do this okay so i'm going to this action i am simply adding filter action here and i want to select sheet 5 sheet 6 here 
using select single select okay okay now what i'm doing is when i click on chairs it is showing showing only one okay but i'll go back here i want this chair to be passed to this so that on top of that this product filter is applied okay so that's why i'm going back to this so to this action filter that it has created i'm adding it to context okay you see we got 10 values here so are these 10 values let us check so i'm using index function and making it discrete just to check we got this i'm going back to dashboard now no matter even if, if i select phones binders storage or tables whatever it is it is working this way we can create so i would encourage you to try an alternate solution for this also and try to do it in a single sheet and try to do it in two sheets so here challenge was we have two different sheets single uh, try to do it in a single sheet as well and see how we can do that and you know do comment in the comment section if at all you want me to create a video on that definitely we can try for that so let us see the next question that was asked here and which do you use tiles or floating and why so this is like a very pretty uh, generic question and it depends on how we are using so you know some uh, some of us might uh, create using tiled object and floating object so what is important here is what is tiled and floating so whenever you are using uh, we are using a tiled object it pretty much takes up the entire space that is available in the dashboard and when you are adding a new object it automatically adjusts whereas floating object or floating container is something where we have to manually adjust the size of the object we are adding that is the difference between this tiled and object so there can be tiled and floating dashboard and there can be tiled and floating containers as well now you have to be very clear when you are answering even though the purpose of both the things is same but still you need to be very clear when you are answering it that is one thing so how do you create a dashboard so first thing is you have to create a worksheets related to that and then you know design the worksheets according to the client requirement and then place it together so that it represents a story that is how we can create a dashboard now how do you validate the data once you get the requirement so we write our own sql that is how we can validate how do you find duplicate records in the table we can write you know a sql query to find the duplicate records like we can use group by uh, to find out duplicates in the uh, table so like say assume order id is my one column where i'm expecting unique records then i can write select order id comma count of order id uh, from table name group by order id and uh, having count of order id greater than one so this will simply give you all those orders whose count is greater than one now we can simply go back and check why what are the multiple entries that we have with respect to that specific order like that now what is difference between window function and aggregate function this is pretty interesting question so windows function specifically works with respect to the offset value that you are specifying whereas aggregate functions are our overall values like say we have we have a sum we have average we have min we have max whereas uh, in window function we have same similar function but they are window max or window min like that we have okay again do comment me in the comment section if you need a video on window function this is becoming little important and very few know about window function and they can answer when asked in interview what is having clause having clause is something that you apply a filter on a group by condition 
okay order by what is where do you use order by clause order by clause is used to sort the result of your sql query based on like how we are sorting here on sales right simply using order by query we can use order by whatever the dimension or measure you want to specify you can specify and it can sort it so i think that's it from my side in this video i hope you find the video useful if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day